it's um installing a new battery it's from car quest um, I'm gonna put a charge in it see how much charge is actually in it I just bought it they don't put a charge in it anymore which I haven't been for years I guess so I'm gonna hook it up I don't know if you can read that it was flickering there but it's showing zero zero it's plugged in the charger it's a pretty good charger 15 amp so that means it puts 15 amps in every hour I would assume yeah, probably more than that maybe every minute I'm not sure how that works but I think I gotta shorten this one cable. Yeah, I do. Okay. There it's showing 12.2 volts. 12.119, so it doesn't have a full charge in it. There it come on. Which showing the voltage is 12. And 69%, so it's, well, there it's 70. It's taking a quick charge. So I'll show installing it here in a minute. Well, not for a minute for you, only a few seconds. So I'll try to show you. There's a um, bolt in here. Uh, let me disconnect these two first. This is the positive. That's the negative. I'll disconnect them. And also I need to disconnect this arm right here. And just loosen this end up over here. You don't need to take that completely out. This one you do. And just remember when you take this out, this goes under it because that is your nut on there. It's threaded. This piece is threaded so that screws into that. So I see the only way I'm going to have to do this, I can't get the tripod to sit the way it should. But... Uh, this is either 5 eighths or 9 sixteenths here and also this one which uh, yeah you can see it there so I'm going to take them two out so I disconnected the nut just the ground that just set it out of, out of your way the best you can That's all I can tell you and there's two wires to that you got to watch how many wires come off you want to make sure they put them back on this truck has a plow to it so I don't know if that has to do with the plow there or not. It may. And then the red, which is the positive always, usually. Unless someone messed it up and did something color-wise. But, let's see if I can even see down in there now. Yeah, let me get a little closer view here if I can. Yeah, there's a nut, or, yeah, bolt you got to take out, and it has a clamp onto the battery there. Once you get that loose, just take that up above there. It's hard to video this, but I hope you get the idea. And it, you know, it was underneath. There's what I'm talking about. This is threaded, so your bolt goes through that. And I just loosened that one. You can just flip that to the side. Now the battery... Uh, should come out Well, no, I got the other I got that one to take out yet. I forgot to take that out which is hidden down in there Somewhere Yeah, there it is so that That right there needs to come out that bolt Really need to come out. Uh, you can just loosen it up good enough and you can Matter of fact, that's the best thing to do. If it comes out, fine. But loosen it up. Now, nah, just take it out is probably your best way. But to put it back in, you'll see what you have to do. And that's what that looks like once it's out. It's just a clamp that holds the battery down. So there's what you have when the battery's out.
then this part here um, you almost have to, I mean I don't know if it's possible even to do it with the battery in but at least get that put that in place before you put the battery in and just turn it uh, a couple turns I mean it's even hard to do right here just a couple turns just to hold it there and then you can get the battery to go under it Now it's actually easier than you think to get that wiggle that battery in there, but that's basically how the best way to do it. See, I caught the new one there. It's caught under it, but there's enough play in there to get it in there. And now all you do is connect back up the arm that goes over, tighten that down, and tighten your two. Um, connections in this truck's a little bit older than newer ones so I bought one of these and that's just the lose your little adapter on the end to hook any extra wires on sometimes you know the old bolts or whatever corroded but you can buy these you can buy a lot of sort different assortment of different nuts to hold that on and actually standard nut bolt would work with that size thread which I don't know offhand but it is just a standard thread but you gotta watch because this part in here the tightness is only lead so you snug it don't make it too tight so this is what that is here There's numbers Do any good there, but well, so it's a start. <laughs> <laughs>